So this book is called uh, How to Thrive in the Digital Age by Tom uh, Chatfield. Um, I got it as a gift for Christmas and it's a, a very interesting read uh, on lots of different subjects. It's generally speaking, it covers a lot of different um, kind of digital related subjects from politics to digital addiction, uh, gaming, it touches on our ability to focus on multiple things at the same time. It's got a little bit of psychology, a little bit of um, cognitive science. Uh, it's even got a, a chapter on sex and porn, which is <laughs> interesting. Um, it, it's kind of, it's a bit of an introduction to a lot of different subjects, which I actually quite liked. Um, although I guess if you're looking to get an in-depth view on, on any one thing, it's probably not for you. Um, parts I liked, uh, the, the stuff about gaming is very interesting, um, the stuff around politics, uh, actually the, the sex part is very interesting as well. Um, it, it kind of reflects on that classic uh, trope of the fact that sex always leads the way in all kind of uh, digital um, revolutions. The parts I didn't like, I guess it's tricky to make a book about digital um, experiences without immediately becoming dated. I think the book's probably a couple of years old um, and it already sounds a little bit dated simply because it refers to things that two or three years ago probably were um, very on point. Things like Second Life, um, it talks about Angry Birds being quite a cool new game which uh, is obviously sort of two or three years behind now. Um, but you know, you, you can't help that and any book about digital suffers from the fact that it it, it dates quite quickly. Um, I would recommend it to anyone really. As I say, it's quite a, a fairly good introduction to a lot of different things. It, it almost feels like kind of, um, I mean, what the chat, how many chapters are there? Seven or eight? Seven or eight different books with the introduction to each. Um, and kind of, you know, you, you feel like you could easily read a book on each of them um, if you had the time or the inclination. So actually, it's probably a fairly good introduction to all of them. And if, if any of them strike your fancy, um, you could choose to read, uh, you know, a book on any of those things. And actually, again, at the end, it does do a bit of a, there's a homework section which gives you some examples of other books you might read on all those topics. Um, I, I would probably recommend it to read to anyone, really. It only took a couple of hours. It's not very long. There's a few blank pages as well in classic style. Um, but yeah, I'd recommend it to anyone who wants to sort of be introduced to any of these subjects. Um, as I say, it doesn't take long. Um, yeah, quite a nice, easy read, really.